Hello, welcome to everyone. In this video, this is our lecture number five uh, uh, and part five for the solution of the book that is Mechanics and Properties of Matter by A.B. Gupta. Uh, in this video, I want to discuss the question number 10 to 18 of chapter two, which is the mechanics of a particle. So if you want to watch the previous lecture and the theoretical part also, you can get the link in the description box. Uh, in this channel, actually, we discuss the physics related theoretical and problem solution. So if you want, you can go to the description box, link are given there. So let's start with question number 10. Uh, this was the question. Actually, I did not uh, find out the solution at this moment. If I get the solution, I will provide it the link in the description box as a uh, PDF format, right? Or otherwise, if anyone can do this solution, solve this problem, you must comment in the comment box. So let's go to the next question. Next question says that a projectile is projected with a velocity V0 from a gun adjusted for maximum range. So the range will be the maximum adjusted in such a way the range will be maximum. It passes through point P and Q. This passes through point to point P and Q whose heights above the horizontal are H to H. This height are H. So that the separation of the point P and Q is like that. So you must take the separation will be like that. You know the time of the flight will be 2u sin theta by g and the range will be u square sin 2 theta by g. And this range will be maximum when sin 2 theta is maximum that is 2 theta is 90 degree that means theta is 45 degree. And the maximum range will be this will be 1 so u square by g is the maximum range. And from this uh, relation v square equal to this you will be get the height which is this u square sin square theta by 2g since the theta is 45 degree you will be get u square by 4g this is the height in that case of maximum range so this uh, is that is the distance h will be find out s equal to u2 plus half a t square so t will be like that from here you will be get find out this time okay so uh, there is a plus and minus there is two time if take this is t1 and t2 you will be get t1 and t2 so the time interval will be like that since you will be get the time interval and you know the speed along the x direction you will be get distance equal to velocity into time interval so this is the separation between these two things okay so i think you understand this things no problem okay this is that's it next question the trajectory of a particle of unit mass is given by like that this is the trajectory of particle where this abc are constant calculate l about the origin l is the angular momentum so that the constant and it's a so this is position trajectory the velocity will be dr dt and you know this uh, angular velocity uh, angular momentum is r cross p this is r and p is mv so r cross v so just uh, put m is 1 because this is a unit mass so m is 1 so r cross v this you will be get this uh, cross product you will find out this is the l and this dl dt can be find out like that you can uh, get dr dt cross v and this is r cross dv dt this is nothing but v so v cross v is 0 and this is r cross dv dt and dv dt is nothing but minus omega square r this is vector so you will be get r cross r this is also 0 so l is the constant because dl dt is 0 so l is constant uh, how will you get dv dt equal to omega square r just you get r and this is v so dv dt you will be get this omega square r clear so L is constant. Clear? Next question. This question solution also I cannot find out at this moment. If I got the answer, I will provide a link in the description box. Otherwise, if anyone can do this solution, I must comment in the comment box. Go to the next one. A body is thrown vertically upward with the initial velocity V0 from a surface of the moon. This is the surface of moon. Vertically upward velocity V0. What is the maximum height attained by the body if the acceleration of your cavity will be g by 6? So, you know this formula. 
इसका रिकॉर्ड यूज करो माइनस टू ए एस सो फाइनल वेलोसिटी एट द मैक्सिमम हाइट विल बी जीरो इनिशियल वेलोसिटी इज वी नॉट एंड द एस इज द हाइट एज एंड एक्सलेशन इज जी बाई सिक्स सो यू विल बी गेट जी इक्वल टू थ्री वी नॉट स्क्वायर बाई जी वेरी सिंपल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ए पार्टिकल ऑफ मास ए मूव्स अलोंग ए स्ट्रेट लाइन अंडर द रिपल्सिव टाइप ऑफ फोर्स दिस दिस इज द फोर्स डिस्क्रिप द मोशन ऑफ द पार्टिकल सो फोर्स इक्वल टू म्यू एक्स सो फोर्स इज एम डी टू एक्स डी टी स्क्वायर that is mu x so d2x by dt square equal to mu minus by m into x so this from this you will be get this solution of differential equation you know about the solution of differential equation because there are a different playlist for solution of differential equation from where you can get the detail concept to solution of this differential equation so the solution will be like that okay and from the uh, initial condition you will be get this value of constant that at t equals to 0 x equal to a put this equation you will be get a equal to this from here you will be get the value of capital a so put this value you will be get this answer okay i request all of you to find out this from that solution you need to know about the solution of differential equation next question Next question says a particle at rest is acted upon this force. This is the force. Calculate the linear moment of the particle at t equal to this. So this is the force. Force you know d p d t. So p equal to a p d t. Integration a p d t. So put this value of a p and integrate this thing. You will be get this one. Very simple. But if you uh, uh, if you put this initial condition that at t equal to zero, this momentum is zero. So c will be like that. Put this value of c. You will be get these things and put this time t equal to zero point zero five second. You will be get this answer. But actually, I uh, in this question I see that this was zero point five. If you put this is zero point five, you will be get pi and cos pi is minus one. So this will be x cube only. But according to question, I write down this solution. Next question. Establish uh, the that force field given by this expression is conservative. So you need to Prove that this is conservative and calculate the corresponding potential. So for conservative force, the curl of A B is zero. In the previous lecture, we know about that things. So if you just curl of these things, you know this formula from the vector analysis. You know there is a playlist for the vector analysis solution of Emerson Spiegel. You can go through the description box. Link are given there. That is the formula that curl of phi A is nothing but grad phi cross A, and this is phi grad curl of A. So if you take this as a phi and this is a a vector, so this is grad phi cross r and this is phi curl of r. So finally you will get minus three by r to the power four r vector by this and this is curl of r. Curl of r is zero and this r cross r is also zero. So total grad uh, curl of f is zero, so f is conservative. Now so next thing is to find the potential. You know. That curl of f is zero, so you can uh, write down this f as a minus grad v because you know curl of grad v is zero. Yeah, this minus is a notation, no problem. So uh, grad v is like that. So v is integration f dot dr. If you integrate this thing, you will be get v equal to one by r. So this is the scalar potential. Next question. Next question says this is the force field. Evaluate the work done of a displacement from this minus one comma zero to one comma zero along the Straight line. So this is the given force field and uh, displacement from minus one comma zero to one comma zero. So y is is a constant, dy is zero, and y is zero, dy is also zero. X is change from minus one to one. So work done is f dot dr. F is this one. Dr is i cap dx plus j cap dy because this is two dimensional. In three dimension, this will be I plus i k k cap dz, right? So i dot i is one and j dot j one, but uh, dy is zero. So this term will be zero. You will be get this one, and this y also zero. So you will be get dx by x. So integrating, you will be get zero because this is a odd function. So total work done from a point to b point will be zero. I think clear. If there is any doubt, you must comment in the comment box. This is all about me, and this is my contact detail. You can connect with me with the Telegram channel. This is my online platform. And this is my YouTube channel. Let us go to this channel. You will be get different physics related video, theoretical and problem solution. Like this session if you learn something from this session. Share this video to your friends. Either he or she also get benefit from this video. Subscribe this channel if you new in this channel. Those already subscribe. Thanks for subscribe. Press the bell icon to get notification of upcoming videos. So take care. We will meet in the next video as soon as possible. Thank you.